This is about estimation of poles and zeros in networks without feedback. So we have seen the time constant matrix and we use that matrix as the basis for intuitive determination of poles in a network without feedback. We write the matrix, the MNA equation in differential form. We have seen this. We find a characteristic equation. We have the generalized eigenvalue problem, in the time constant matrix. And here we are. That is what we had before. Let's study the resistance matrix describing the transfer from the independent variables, the currents and the voltage sources I put on the ports, to the responses, the current to a voltage source and the voltage caused by current sources. The diagonal elements, you see, it is either R or G. Of course, it is G where there is an inductor, where there was a voltage source connected to the port, and R where we have a transfer from I to voltage, from current to voltage. So it is resistance or conductance at the port, and the off-diagonal elements are either transresistance, transconductance, voltage gain, or current gain factors from port one to another port. And this tells us something about interaction between elements. And this makes it difficult to estimate the poles and zeros very exact. If the interaction is large, we will make errors. 